This is a demonstration video of the Fidelity HF24 record player. I'm just going to demonstrate it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck here and here. Screw those fully down clockwise so the deck floats on its springs. And remember to unclip the arm. On the deck you have the speed control here, stop start here and automatic size detector lever here. The control panel is on the side. Uh, from top to bottom you have the main on-off control then you have treble, bass, and then you have two volume controls one for the microphone volume, uh, you could get an original Fidelity microphone uh, back in the day which you could use as a sort of early karaoke machine and the bottom one is the overall volume it's important to make sure that you have the microphone volume turned down to minimum if not using the microphone um, to eliminate harm. On the bottom you have a selection of inputs and outputs which may or may not be compatible with modern equipment um, however, I can just show you that uh, they do work. I've just got it connected up to my phone, Government and you can see that it does work. No way out of this. Oh, a hundred percent, and I find it very um, entertaining to watch. Okay, but back to the record player. So you can load between one and eight records. I'll demonstrate with two, just so you can see. If I pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stack arm across, and flick the right hand control knob all the way around to start the auto changer. and control knob again to skip to the next record. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. When you stack a 10 or 12 inch record this is the size selector lever so you need to make sure the record is stacked above the lever like so. That's so that the tone arm knows to land in the correct position. the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the mat. If it's a 7 inch record you can leave the stacker bar up, select auto and the arm goes across to the 7 inch position, or just select manual start and place your arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, lower the stacker bar down so it knows to switch off at the end or if you leave it up that triggers a repeat function for 7 inch only and it replays the same 7 inch over again automatically. So hopefully that covers everything but if you do have any questions when you receive it I'll include my email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact.